Josh said during the race that he was tight center off. And, and for those who are new to NASCAR, I mean, that is basically cars having a, a tough time turning in the corner, yep. right? You need to loosen him yep. up. So what are some of the different ways that you can fix a problem like tight center off? I mean, it, within a race, you have just a couple adjustments, right? You have your rear wedge bolts, um, which are literally pieces of all thread that put more or less pressure on the rear springs of your car. You have a track bar adjuster, which you have to manually adjust, and then you have the air pressure, the air pressures you put in your tire, and then you have some very small things that you can add or remove. Uh, grill tape, which would be more more or less front down force as well as affecting the heat of your motor. Um, Especially in our races with limited size of tires and limited pit stops, you don't want to have a extremely long stop. Um, Cause sometimes you can make the car a lot better, but if you gave up 10 spots on pit road, you might make the car better, but only make it, you might just drive back to where you came from. So you're always playing that net game. Um, but tight center off is generally, you need more rotation in the car. Um, a general rule, rule of thumb is the track bar, which sits, uh, you know, left to right or perpendicular to the center line of the car, horizontal if you may. Uh, in the car, it's most effective at max lateral load if you were talking about your G-forces in an X, Y, and Z vector. So max lateral is generally around center. So an easy rule of thumb is um, your vertical loads, which are entry when your car is loading down in the corner and exit when it's releasing out of the track would be your vertical loads, which at there your wedge bolts would be your most effective change. And then max lateral when the car is already loaded in the track up and down, but is, is trying to grip sideways to stay in the track, that's when your track bar adjustment um, is usually effective. So that's, that's a general rule of thumb.